Hello and welcome back to In My Image. So in the last episode we received this ultimatum from an independence faction. The independence faction has 110% of our strength. So uh, I don't think we'll have any problem beating it down. They need to uh, be way stronger than that to actually manage to beat us. But then again, I will not be blackmailed. Let's take a look at who is actually in this faction. First and foremost, let's get rid of a few things like this. Special character actions, nothing to worry about. And um, we do have quite a big treasury in case we want to hire mercenaries to tip the tide. Though I would prefer not to do that because I want to get the last level of hospital in Debul. Alright. Our steward, our marshal, our spymaster, patriarch all went with the rebels. See, we can appoint in the meantime. Marshal. Alright. Steward. Oh, this uh, Sunni or Yazidi guy did not join them. Interesting. Hmm. Spymaster. These are all pretty poor. Hmm. Alright. Let's have some temporary ones. Some temporary ones for now that I don't mind firing at a later date. Alright. It's you I want to convert. And the rest are doing a nice job already, actually. I want you to improve relations. Uh, sure, whatever. Alright. Alright. So the leader is a theocrat. Shanai of Bayadia Revolt. He's got 200 gold. That's not very good. So he won't be able to hire any mercenaries. We have access to 10k troops. Let's try to gather them. That should be fine. All of you can try to meet up here. While the troops at this edge... This does not look like 10,000 troops to me. To be perfectly honest. Maybe it is. Maybe it is 10,000 troops. I just don't... Maybe most of them are up here. Let's try to get them merged up so we can actually see for ourselves. Designated Regent. Make sure they don't get too angry while we are fighting off the Independence Revolt. Alright, you're all gathering up. Nice. And you're being attacked. Right, we need to make haste. Take the quick route, and uh, these will reinforce whenever they can. My wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Yes, I endorse it. I don't really have time to worry about hermetic stuff right now. I need to win this independence revolt. It's a perfect opportunity to... Uh, to get some more land for our beloved kinsmen. Alright, you are practically dead, so I can disband you. Move on to here. We got a 4k stack. Well, the rebel troops are so spread out that we don't really have to worry much. At least it doesn't feel like we would. Alright, let's try and, uh, and gather our troops into one big doom stack. Primarily uh, merging up with the pikemen. The plague approaches? Is there another bout of plague? Oh no, it's actually receding, I think. Or is it spreading? Is there another plague? This close? Oh, it's it started one year ago. Oh no. In Emiretia. Alright, we got some... Uh, some troops to reinforce us. Well then, this is going to be easier than expected. Let's gather you up and kill that stack. Yeah, this is this is easy. Died of the dreaded plague. It's not already here, is it? No. Fortunate. But our uh, dynasty has barely recovered. 209. Well, it, it kind of has, but not not really, really. Martial education. 
Alright, you guys, get up here. Unfortunate. Who am I trying to murder? Oh, right, I'm trying to murder this guy because he has um, a bunch of kingdoms that are all gonna split due to Gavelkind. Yes. Alright, should we shut the gates? Yeah, we should shut the gates. Let's do it. That's fine. I inherited the Barony of Musket. Did I... Wait, did I do that? No, I did not. I'm not sure what happened there. No matter. Let's focus on the war at hand and then to survive another bout of the plague. Deadly plagues. Stop sieging something down. You can go here. Sure thing. You can go that way. Can we counter this escaping stack in any way? Oh, a 10k stack. Let's meet up. Perfect. Oh, there we go. So he had four sons. So now one of them rules Bogen, one rules Burkania. And uh, Bogen, Burkania, and Temujin Rothas. Thought it was another kingdom. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. All right. Well, the Temujin Rothas kingdom has at least been weakened significantly. The Bogen king did not get everything belonging to Bogen, though. Ah, ah, easy. They attacked us with their big stack and we uh, were already winning, so the momentum pushed us over the edge and we won. Alright, well, people are gonna start dying from the plague. I've uh, lost a wife. Oh, perfect. Cthulhu, natural choice for a name. Well, this um, feels like it's won already. Now we just need... Uh, what? Okay, whatever. And this feels like it's already over. Uh, but I will use it, like, after the plague recedes, I will try to revoke stuff from the non-Bayad people and give it to Bayad people. There's a 10k stack over there, and I don't have any commanders at all. What's going on here? Are they all in seclusion? Oh, of course they are. So I can't have any uh, commanders right now. They're all in seclusion. Every single one of them. Nice. Making short work of them. Fortunately, my children are falling ill. Oh, it's my cousin that's inheriting stuff. Because everyone is dying from the plague. Right, our dynasty took um, took over the Targetai Shiraz kingdom. As you can see, it's all Bayad now. Ah, I really like that, but uh, it's a bit, uh, a bit weird. Do you want to marry my daughter? Someone who's the same age as you? No. Because of her skills? Political concerns. I'll give you a gift. I would love to support you in your uh, endeavors. Still no, though, and then rot away for all I care. Die of the plagues. I don't think the enemy has any stacks anywhere else. That we, uh, well, except for that one, a tiny little stack. That has managed to siege a province in the southern parts of India. But still. No problems. Khan Kagatag of Targetai Shiraz inherited... Well, of course, we're gonna get a lot of inheritance messages because uh, 
And the Black Death is absolutely devastating the Tagutai Shiraz. It's moving eastwards this time. It started here and it's moving east into our lands because they are very rich. She should stay out of this. Bring it on! Target I oh. Are you fighting ya? Uh... Alright, the map hadn't updated, but now we can see that there is a tiny, tiny little revolt. Though, um, our little kinsman here does not have enough to um, buy any mercenaries to uh, set against them. And they are feudal, while this guy is tribal, so he will call in this guy that has quite a few troops. Hopefully that will be enough. No, so people are gonna die from the plague. Hey, don't escape. You've already lost. There we go. I'm uh, thinking about manually re uh, releasing some kingdoms at one point or another. The problem is we can't release stuff that is Dior, our realm. So they pretty much have to win before we can do such a thing. Patient. Um, go ahead. Well, the plague is approaching. In fact, it's already here. We're dying from uh, from a bit of attrition, I think. Not, uh, I'm not actually sure if we are dying from attrition at all. We don't see a little skull, but usually you take a little bit of attrition when you're um, in a province with a black death. Peasant revolt. Right, we won. Everyone is imprisoned. Something does not look right here. Does it? This province? Did that not used to be ours? Hmm. Well, I'm scratching my head. Is this all the peasant revolt is? It's gonna be very easy to take care of. No, wait, the peasant revolt is already over. Or maybe it wasn't even our peasant revolt. Maybe it was someone else's. Nomad agitation. How is that even possible? Not sure. That thing should be, uh... I mean, there hasn't been a nomad here, has there? I don't see a single nomad. How very strange. Used to belong to free-spirited nomads. No, it did not. A castle or a city? Well, that's not gonna be possible, seeing as there's only a... Uh, bishopric. But anyway, I'll just mod it out of the save, I guess, because it's a it's a glitch. There are no nomads there. Not as far as I can tell. Nomads do not exist. We're all sedentary. Court chaplain. Let's go for you and then send you away. No, I can't. You're in seclusion with me. Struggle. Court Physician. Let's uh, make you Court Physician for now, and make sure to educate a few children that are still alive. Hmm. Let's dismiss this for now. <laughs> it was burnt at the stake? Um, let's put the guys in house arrest so they don't die. So I want to um, do things to them later when the plague is over. Let's be merciful. We only have one tribal vassal, as far as I can see. How is the plague treating us? Plague is not in this uh, this province here. This is worrying. Uh. 
Someone inherited a bunch of titles? I have gained a friend! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. A little nine-year-old girl. What's the rest of the world looking? Any new kingdoms? Oh, look at that! The Gambatarian uh, Ital Italy is actually part of the Kingdom of Jebe. Which is held by no one currently. So, uh, the Gambatarian integrity has been uh, sh um, shook to its core. They barely have any. any Dior at all. They have some of Spain, Cis uh, they have Sardinia, and a bit of Italy, or pieces of Italy. Hmm, they are in in uh, a bit of trouble, to be honest. Baburia. It's taking some random land here and there. Let's see. Shiguvedin. Very admirably keeping together. Life in seclusion isn't so bad. Oh no. We might get... Uh, the opportunity to eat more people, like we did with our last character. Well, let's take a look at the black death map mode here and make sure it... Or hope it's uh, receding soon. Well! <laughs> I did not expect this! Look at that! We inherited... Um, one of... We <laughs> inherited this kingdom. That's amazing. Like, it's in Gavelkind, so we will lose it. Duchy of Amman, Kerman, County of Sirjan, Laristan, Bam, and Hormuz. How very interesting. Well, oh, okay. Okay. So we got all of these. And who will we lose it to, is the question. Uh, Prince... C well, of course, Prince Cthulhu. This does not really help when they all are named Cthulhu. But I guess that this is our primary heir, and he is heir to the kingdom of Targetai Shiraz. He will not get... He will get the Duchy of Kerman. The County of Larestan. Well, okay, we can't really hold 13 domain. I guess I can uh, give away the baronies for now. Though it is not ideal to do so. You can actually find some uh, some old men to take care of them for us. Are you rich? Anyone with a bit of money would be preferable. You are perfect. So, you can manage that for me. Over a hundred gold is the best, because then they will most certainly use it to build a building. Something that I do approve of. There you go. Alright, 10 out of 8 is alright. I can't handle it. We already have maximum centralization. Should try to um, go back on some of the council laws, but I think it's more important to go for noble levies than anything. Oh, and I have way more vassals than, than I should. Well, well, well. Were you the... Duchy of Kerman. Kingdom of Bayadia. Kingdom of Targetai Shiraz. Duchy of Kerman. Who is getting the Duchy of Oman then? Well, another very helpful list. I should not name all my kids Cthulhu from now on. All right. Because I want to give that one to someone. Maybe it's um, it's going with um, to him, actually. If I can grant it to him, and that's probably for the best. I will do so as soon as the Black Death has gone, really, because I don't want to accidentally kill him. We are able to imprison people. You're part of a plot, alright? I don't care about that. And, uh, and that's all. 
Right, so who did we actually imprison? Uh, we imprisoned him, Shanai. We will not do anything about him, because he is a merchant republic, so let's release him from prison. He will probably get the plague and die, but he's strong, so... Uh, it's the same with the republicans, I would say. Unless that's one of our kinsmen? No, it's not. Alright, so I will release you as well. You are tribal. Let's uh, make sure we keep life, or <laughs> keep the time running. My wife has been eating. It's my secondary wife. So, uh, looks like meat is back on the menu. <laughs> that, that sound effect was it. Disgusting. Oh man. Let's marry her. Now oh, we can rank up. Perfect. I was gonna look at something. I was gonna look at the prison. Yes, indeed. This is um, not our kinsman, so this is someone we could retract a title or two from without any troubles whatsoever. Though we can only retract one. Then we could give it to someone, I guess. Well, the rats eat my food, I eat the rats. Make sure that our children are being educated. Looks like meat is back on the menu. Needs must. <laughs> wow. The nobility of the Mongols is really not a, a stranger to, um, to just eating people. Look at that, by the way. It's actually not in our capital because of our insanely powerful hospital. We're losing some money, though. Alright, well... Let's see if it uh, dissipates from uh, India. We should be able to open the gates. So let's do that. Let's open the gates. And uh, take a proper look at this. So we have... Oh, we, we are at war with this guy? I didn't even notice. And that's what I get for not paying attention. Oh, we still have prosperity in our capital. Amazing. You guys go and reinforce. We'll go and end that war over there. Perfect. Don't go home. Instead, go over here and win the war. Alright. So, prisoners, prisoners. You are a theocrat. But you have a province you're not supposed to have. Let's retract the vassalage off. What's the name of this guy? Oh, he's got two provinces. The Mulavada. Okay. Let's see. Retract the vassalage of the Mulavada. There we go. Um, so that should give us Vemulavada. And you don't have any other holdings anywhere else? No, then I will release you. Should I execute you? No, I'll keep you in prison for now. I can sacrifice you later. Dair. Hmm, that's not uh, someone who was part of my uh, revolt. Inachi. Ah, well, you were. Mm, Sheranadu. Can I revoke this? Yep. Yeah. And then I can give it to a... Uh, to a kinsman. Let's see. Who is an unlanded kinsman? No. My dynasty, gender men. Ooh. Inansha Bayad. 
Yeah, a 44 year old strong one. You're not heir to anything, so. Uh... Hmm, they're saying no, are they? Well, let's change their minds. Our spy master can instantly be exchanged for a loyalist. And we can definitely switch you for a loyalist as well. And that should do it. Alright, Inansha. You will get this province. And then I will transfer it to Sharanadu. There you go. Alright, next up. It is Dair. No, not Dair. Jebe is of my dynasty. And he rules Anupa. But not all of it. This guy has taken quite a bit. Anyway, I will release you because you're my dynasty. Kubilai. You're not my dynasty. Take your title. Let's take a look here. So, Medapata and Ajmer. Can we get Ajmer? No, we cannot. I should revoke one of these at least. Let's say Medapata. Let's do it. And then we can give it to our kinsman. Someone who is a good steward, I'd say. Preferably healthy. This guy is ambitious, but he's of our dynasty. He's not heir to anything at all, so... You get it. And you can also get that random vassal over there. Uh, transfer vassalage of... Something Rathambor. That works. Next up. Oh, them. No, you're also part of another realm. Let's uh, throw you in the oubliette now. I guess this is fine for now. You can do some, uh, some sacrificing. The honor the divine. We need to be at peace. Uh, let's let's make sure that we win this war. Who are you, by the way? Hmm. You have more than one war, apparently. Let's win all of them. Let's see. This is mostly depopulated. Our capital survived. I am very impressed. And, uh, right, our second son, you. You have dysentery. Let's see if he survives that. If he does, he will get Oman. Uh, the duchy of Oman. So when we die, he will get the uh, kingdom anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go for any marriage. Who is this? This is... Alright, they should be easy enough to beat. It's all localized to this area, which is... Which is nice. Uh, I don't care about missions right now. You inherited some stuff, that's... Fine, I mean, the borders are starting to look weird internally. Which is no, I do not approve of it, especially when it's this guy who... Uh, is taking stuff from my kinsmen. Not good. So many children need uh, education focus. Right. It's 100% this. Should only be uh, to siege these. And then we should win. Oh! My half brother is no longer my uh, apprentice. Finished his studies. That's 100%. I will keep you in prison for now. And uh, kill this guy. Looks like there's a kingdom 
and the duchy. It's the same, but it's the duchy that has attacked me. Perhaps we can steal some artifacts. Ah. Alright, so who controls what here? It's Basra. Can we just white piece you? Yes. And now it's this guy. Hmm. It, it's a count, but he uh, has not formed a kingdom yet. Interesting. Probably just because he, uh, he is at war. So many info things. Let's see here, what are my council doing? Nothing in particular because the disease has not left our lands yet. Let's reorganize the council soon. Oh, look at that, we lost 70 members of our uh, dynasty. That's insanity. We need to propagate. We need to propagate fast. Right, Apprentice. I will save the Apprentice title for my child when he comes of age. Someone broke into my laboratory. Let's just fully siege everything he has. Should be easy enough. Is this guy a heresiarch? No, he's not. He's just a random count who has broken free. Still strange that he has not formed a kingdom now. One more province. Alright. Did you survive? You did! He survived uh, the gout. Let's give him uh, Oman because he is the heir to uh, the kingdom of Targetai Shiraz, which is based in Oman. So um, take it and uh, manage it for me, please. That lowered my domain by one. The second one is in Hormuz. I guess I can keep this. I'm just one over my limit. This will uh, fall to someone else anyway, because it's not technically part of Bayadia. It's part of Targetai Shiraz. Hmm, people are coming back. You surrender! Thank you for all the gold! Are we earning money now? I don't think we are. We have mercenaries? I didn't know that. Must be some that flipped to our side when uh, someone else couldn't pay for them. Something that we should do is to take stuff back to the Targetai Shiraz. Like these two. Actually, they're part of another kingdom now, so that might be trickier than expected. Anyway, uh, this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.